The release of Rule Breakers Team 2 did cause some panic on the market. There was quite a bit of selling on some gold meta cards, all gold cards as well, and also some special cards. Out of pack special cards were really good to look at. For example, Inform Delaney, we are going to be looking at him. I did buy quite a lot of him. So we're going to be talking about how you could have made coins buying some cards a few hours ago, and also still now a few hours going into the night when you're currently recording this video as it's being released. This is still going to be a good time to get some decent deals that you can list up tomorrow on Saturday and they are going to be going up a little and also taking a look at how some people were making coins today the majority of coins that were made today how was it done how can you potentially do it with next promos so just before we get into it make sure you guys do watch right until the end of the video because this is going to be answering all of your comments all of your questions on what to invest in if you have a hundred K 200 K 500 K to a million coins how However many coins you have, this video is going to be showing you how to make coins and how people did make coins. So getting straight into this video now, how did people make coins today on Friday with the release of these cards? There was panic on the market, but some cards did actually help buy this and some cards did actually go up. So you kind of need to go in that direction. You need to find the cards that are going to be going in the opposite direction of everyone else. Of all of the other cards that are going lower, these cards did actually go higher. So an example of this was actually... Actually, Lukaku, the gold cards, and also Royce. Because they were rumoured, I did kind of buy them right after I made my video. I did actually go ahead and pick these cards up. Lukaku wasn't obvious. He's definitely going to be in this. And of course, he did come out today. So I bought at around 5,900 coins and also around 6k. I do believe I did get quite a few around a page and almost a page and a half around that. It was quite a lot of Lukaku's, quite a lot on bids and also a few snipes. And then I did say why not we might as well go with Marco Royce I was thinking it is going to be him because of that physical boost it would make sense but this was a little bit more risky not really risky because I did sell a little bit into the hype I didn't really wait for 6 p.m. at all I did go ahead and sell before that so that was a good move for Lukaku but Royce did actually end up going up a little bit higher right now when I'm recording this video he's around 27k 28k I did sell I do believe it was only two I did sell at 25k because I was thinking possibly he might go down, but then a lot of leakers did start saying that he is going to be coming out. So I ended up selling them at 26k, some at 26,500. So maybe I could have made a K or two more per card if I waited a little bit longer. But it's better I did say safe because otherwise, if it was someone like Miller or it was actually an Urzel, someone like that, then I could potentially have lost coins if everyone was selling him at the same time. So it's still good. Made a little bit of coins, I would say around 40, 50k on all of those buys. Here I do just have a couple of threads that I was getting out of that was just from before that I was trying to flip didn't really work out the best because everyone was going for more of the expensive cards on Thursday flips like we do know the Hume Son, the Rashford, the Joe Gomez is those just went insane and the kind of lower tier ones didn't really go up that much Fred especially didn't really go up I do have a few Deanies here this was from the objective so I go went I, I won a lot of these on bids for around 600 800 coins he was going at 2.5k at the time but he did start going down I do believe now he is quite down as well so it was good I sold at 1.5k decent little bit of profit but not the best I should have sold quicker and I would have got a lot more coins on him and then I do have just these bronze cards again this is just from the Akinfenwa objective I don't have any leaks or anything like that the Dini's as well just bids you can literally win them at a really low price so these bronzes I did win at just 150 coins literally no one else was bidding for them I've only got four of them anyways and I did just make 600 coins per card so like two 2,000 coins profit there. That was just me being a little bit bored. And then we do have a lot of Delaney's. These is Informed Delaney. I did go ahead and buy at around 65k. That is really good, I do believe, because he's really low right now. Lucas Mora as well. These Lucas Mora's at 55k. A few of them and the rest are at 56. I do believe that is really good. The lowest 54k. I do have some other silver investments. I'm going to be talking about them a little bit later on. I don't really want to inflict those prices. I don't want them to go up from this video but that's just going to be an investment for later on but as we can see here I did win on bids more Delaney's a lot of them were on bids and these two at the end I did get it at 60,000 coins and then 62k that is really really good card really good profit that is like 5,000 coins profit per card if I sold right now he's going for around 69k or 70,000 coins so I'm going to be waiting hopefully he does go tomorrow at around 72 73 so that is going to be quite good cards I'm already 
currently breaking even on the 65k so anything he does go up tomorrow is just going to be profit and that is going to be what you should try picking up right now the Lucas Moras still are pretty low I do believe if you can win them on bid again bidding is what you need to be doing right now it is very very useful and that's how I do get most of my deals right now I start off sniping them to see if there are quite a few and if there is and that does mean there's quite a bit of supply two to three pages when he's already at a low price then that is really good it means you can go even lower than that by bidding 1000 coins 2000 coins cheaper and you are going to have one of those one or two that you are going to get at a really really cheap price like you saw with those Delaney's 5k 6k undercut already then what you had at that current undercut so it's going to be a pretty much guaranteed way if you do get the right cards if you do buy like this when Friday evening when there's panic and then sell Saturday morning you do want to make sure you sell Saturday morning before Saturday 6 p.m. because that is when the market is going to be starting selling off and it is going to be going down so make sure you do sell these cards that you are buying now for these quick flips Saturday morning thank you guys for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time